Welcome in. We're continuing down this beautiful journey with the Shiva Nataraj as our guide and uh, in alignment with the annular eclipse. Today's practice is the ring of fire. Please take your seat, feet out in front. Mm. We're going to extend your right leg. Keep the left leg pretty wide from the inner right knee and grab a hold of your ankle. Grabbing a hold of the ankle, push the foot down and now pull the arm bone from the hand to the shoulder socket. And as you do that, can you sit up taller and really just lift into who you are here? Yeah. Anchor down right heel. Feel the energy of the front of the pubic bone rolling down towards the sticky mat and your lumbar curve moving in towards your navel. Good. Now we'll switch sides. Forward folds are the most complex class of postures that we could engage. The back bends might be harder for a lot of us, I'll speak for myself, but um, the forward folds are actually where we have greater challenge. We need to learn how to keep the curve of the lumbar spine. That's the first phase. So the back bends inform that. Now we, we hope to maintain it and then let go of any destructive notion that folding forward more deeply at the expense of our lower back. Just if there's one thing we could burn in the fire today, maybe that's it. And release. Now we'll take sole of left foot to inner right thigh, like a seated tree pose. Press the two together. So find the midline, make that uh, straight leg shorter, literally draw it up and into your hip until you feel your core hollow out. And maybe you could use that to ignite the light and keep lifting head of the arm bones back. So we'll take the cactus arms, palms down into an imaginary place where you can push to uh, create lift underneath and then draw the elbows back and squeeze your shoulder blades. A very powerful pose. Yeah. Now we'll pitch it forward, left hand outer right shin, right hand to the earth. Now, as if your elbows were still up, can you widen them in opposite direction? And that will allow the shoulder blades to press the heart forward and through. Yeah, you got it. Reach up. With your heart, bend your le your right leg and hold the baby toe edge. Like you did before, pull that arm bone into your shoulder socket and then use it to lift the foot up off the ground. Yeah. Lift up. Unplug the right hip a little bit. Lean to your left, lean to your left, lean to your left. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and crawl in. And then hold your heel. Now anchor the right hip forward and down, forward and down. And as you do, sit up a little taller. You got it. And slowly release. Hands behind, top the throat back, find your lumbar curve, remember it. Keep the lumbar curve, help yourself sit upright. 
extend left leg, sole of right foot in, squeeze the two together, really tall, uh, anchor down, hands, elevate, hold your power, keep that left leg drawing in to your pelvis as you fold, right hand outer shin, left hand to the earth, pull the hands and the elbows energetically and literally apart and let the heart press forward and through. Anchor the tailbone, lifting the heart, bend the left knee, right hand, baby toe side. Make that bottom foot active and press it down. So where does it need to go? So some of you will need to fiddle with it. That's what I noticed last time. If it wasn't feeling settled, if my shape didn't work for you, find your own and then pull in. Liberate left hip as you crawl up and in, get a grip, draw your shoulder blades onto your back. So we need the upper back to take pressure off of your lower back. So pull in and get tall. Yeah, now you can press the left hip forward and down. And here we are, one version of our Shiva Nataraj in full concealment. Now, one of the most beautiful parts of the Shiva Nataraj story in the Tilai forest is you, we've got our two friends, Viagrapada and Patanjali, and they're both watching this dance. And from where Patanjali is sitting, he sees, all he sees is separation and uh, occlusion. And, you know, the, the practices are about overcoming challenges. And then Viagrapada is over here and he sees the pathway <laughs> into the heart. So they're seeing the same thing, but noticing completely different aspects of it. Isn't that true? And release. <sighs> Find your seat, close your eyes, deepen your breath. Lifting the knees, hold underneath your inner thighs, and we'll stretch your legs out nice and wide. Bow forward any amount. Please remember to push down through your heels, hug your, your legs towards midline, and a deep breath. Not your deepest forward fold. Just one that feels like it's helping to bring things more into symmetry. Inhale, rise up. All right. Pull the left leg in. Reach down and hold. Now here's that same shape we found earlier in Prasarata Padatanasana. Um, where you have the knee and the elbow. Yeah. And just to give us something else to push into, I'm gonna bring the hand around and hold the heel. Pull both arms into your shoulder, wrap the left uh, right hip forward and down, and now press the leg from foot to hip. You got it. Side body's long from waistline to armpit, and then pull your shoulders onto your back body. Unwind a little bit. That could be uh, one, it is one of uh, expression of the sundial pose, Siri Antrasana. Another one, we'll go back into crawling right arm under. This time you'll press the tricep into the hamstring. And this could be where we take a, a, a break and say, this is enough. If you're going further, take the left hand, the shoelace side. Mm -hmm. Bow into who you are. 
Remember the upturned foot leads the way. And as you press the outer right hip down and up through, right foot, keep the shoulder blades pulling onto your back. Good, yes, beautiful. And just find the window of the heart. Let it unfold. You got it. Remember, you don't have to keep that right hand down. We could go here. There we go. Right on. Woo, nice, Pam. Inhale, release. <laughs> and give that a moment. Let the dust settle. Mmm. <sighs> Sometimes when we practice, little um, bubbles of awareness will float to the surface, and um, you'll have like it's a moment of awakening. I just, I just had one of those, uh, and it just so it just made sense of you know two years of of uh, some really tough stuff coming to completion on Thursday for me. So um, whatever you're noticing, so we're at the new moon today and the <laughs> ring of fire eclipse. So big stuff's happening. Where are you in your journey? And just honor wherever big transformation is happening and then give it space. Anchor it, sit with it, breathe with it, pull arm bones in so you really honor all of it. And then really find that outer left hip rooting, 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 shoulder blades, pressing, pressing, pressing. Yes, yes, nice Aida. Beautiful, Megan. <laughs> oh, if I can only see your foot, you look great. <laughs> Emily, rock it, press the left hip forward, down, forward and down, push it down. See if you can lean into it. Yeah, inhale and wind. Nice, Kathy. Ooh, namaste. Thank you. Love you guys. <laughs>